Apple announced the new iPhones last week and the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus were released just yesterday. I got my hands on the 64GB iPhone 8 in silver and this is my review of it. It won't go unnoticed that Apple retained the design of the iPhone 7, but the iPhone 8 comes with a glass front and back which I think looks great. It looks glossy and it's reflective. The silver looks nice too, in fact it looks more like a light grey and I really like that. With less text at the back it looks much cleaner. You'll find the same buttons and ports as the previous iPhone, so whilst it may not look any different on the outside, what's inside is what makes the iPhone 8. It has the all new A11 Bionic chip with a neural engine, making it the fastest iPhone yet with performance cores that are 25% faster than the previous A10 Fusion chip that's used in the iPhone 7. It also has an Apple designed GPU that's 30% faster. It has 2GB of RAM and is available in 64GB or 256GB variants. Thanks to its glass back, the iPhone finally supports wireless charging and it works with QI chargers which is just awesome. Oh and let's not forget the 4.7 inch Retina HD display which now has true tone display which means that the screen will adapt to the lighting conditions to make colours appear consistent. It sure looks good when watching videos and generally using it. The iPhone retains its 7 megapixel front facing camera and the 12 megapixel rear camera except the sensor is now larger and faster offering better photo quality overall. Unfortunately, Portrait Mode is only available in the Plus model, so this one has the standard photo and video capturing modes. In terms of the software, the iPhone 8 comes pre-installed with the recently released iOS 11, which has its own unique features making the iPhone even better. But do I think it's worth an upgrade? It depends on what you currently have. If you have the iPhone 6s or older, then it'll be worth it for the enhanced hardware, the improved cameras and the wireless charging, as well as it being water and dust resistant. But if you've got the iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, then I would probably wait for the iPhone X instead as the 8 really isn't much of an upgrade. I hope this video has been useful and thanks for watching. <laughs>